Hello, I'm Deepak Dalvi, a cybersecurity researcher, and I'm a part of Aqua's product management team. In this video, I'll show you how to deploy Aqua VM Enforcer on a Linux virtual machine. We'll use Ubuntu Linux 18.04 VM for this deployment and use case. Virtual machines on public clouds like Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Platform, etc., are essential as well as important assets of an organization's compute stack. With the serverless and container-based compute workloads, the VM workloads are also prone to attacks, and these can be easily detected and prevented using Aqua's VM Enforcer. Customers can easily deploy VM Enforcer using Aqua CTL, a CLI or a command line interface tool offered by Aqua. This tool is already being used to deploy enforcers on container workloads by several hundred customers. I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of deployment and a few references to the product documentation. So let's get started. As you can see here, I have an Aqua CSP console and I'm currently using Aqua 5.0 release for this demonstration. I'm going to go to the infrastructure page. This is where all the VMs are listed. Uh, these VMs have a VM enforcer deployed and that's how Aqua uh, console gets information about the virtual machines. Uh, it's uh, cloud related information and you can manage your security for these virtual machines. Now the next is I'll go to the enforcers page and uh, as you can see here I have under default VM enforcer group, I have one VM enforcer that's registered. And under default, I have another Windows VM that's uh, listed there. You can find a lot of information about how to deploy VM enforcer, what flags uh, you can use. Uh, there are interactive prompts and there is an option to run it completely silent so you can visualize all those details on uh, this deploy vm enforcer instances uh, page you can search for deploy vm enforcer instances to get more details uh, in aqua documentation for this demo i'll be using my aws ec2 instance uh, as you can see here, I have a few instances uh, listed under EC2 instances page. And I'm going to use one of these instances for deploying VM Enforcer. So let's use 34217211176. I'm going to go back to my SSH console. Open a new session. So that's ready. Now, the next step is to go to enforcers page, pick up the right VM enforcer group. And as you can see here, you have an easy option of copying deployment command. You could use that or click on edit group to view details of VM enforcer. And the section that's relevant here is uh, this. You could copy these commands on a notepad and edit some of the details like uh, gateway IP address and gateway port. Uh, I have some of these details available for this demo. So what these commands are doing uh, is you are uh, doing a wget for aqua CTL. This is the command line interface tool. Uh, you are changing the mode, uh, make it executable, and then using aqua CTL to deploy and register VM enforcer with the gateway. So let's get started. So Aqua's VM Enforcer also has dependency on RunC, so you need to make sure that you have Docker installed on the VM. As you can see here, I already have that. So I'm going to start with the first command. I'm going to do a wget of Aqua CTL. make it executable and then 
Now here, one of the important aspects is, as you can see here, this token is very important. It basically defines which enforcer group the enforcer gets deployed under. So I'm gonna run this command. Confirm me PM enforcer deployment. So it's going to download the VM enforcer and use all the details to register it against the right enforcer group. It's going to take a few seconds here. So as you can see now the Aqua Enforcer deployment has completed. Let's go to the console and give it a few seconds. And it has shown up. So this is the new VM Enforcer that we deployed. And as soon as the Enforcer is deployed and it registers with the gateway, it uh, basically gets all the policies, it gets uh, all the details around firewall policies, runtime policies, so on and so forth. And uh, what also happens along with that is uh, a scan gets initiated on uh, that particular VM. For example, these are the details for the VM, general information, cloud attributes that we extract uh, using VM Enforcer, um, and then right now it's running the scan. When it's, once it returns, it'll uh, offer details like the known vulnerabilities, uh, various resources, any containers or images that it identifies, any malware that it gets identified depending on the assurance policy, so on and so forth. So this uh, kind of sums up the overall installation of VM Enforcer. Uh, and just to do a quick recap here, it's a simple and very easy installation process. And just to conclude and recap, uh, we used a Linux VM on, on AWS for this demo. Uh, we used Aqua console to visualize various aspects to copy command. Uh, and uh, I also uh, ran through some of the documentation topics like uh, VM enforcer deployment modes. Um, there is a topic on infrastructure uh, page that lists nodes and VMs. And then uh, how do you copy uh, enforcer installation command? Thank you for watching this video. And stay tuned for my next video on Windows VM enforcer deployment.